Hi, this is Nash Josic and um, I will talk to you today about sugar and all the bad consequences that we have from eating sugar. You know, uh, people often say there is no such thing as a perfect crime. Uh, whoever commits the crime sooner or later will be caught and uh, criminals will never escape. But it seems to me there is a perfect crime going on all the time in front of our eyes and uh, there is a criminal who does that perfect crime and uh, doesn't receive much blame I, I believe you will agree with me and this is sugar being a serial killer I've been uh, indirectly uh, responsible for millions of deaths every year around the world sugar still doesn't get the blame and doesn't get sanctioned by the government like for example uh, cigarettes do and uh, alcohol through very aggressive campaigns and uh, advertising on TV and in the media against them obviously and the bad effects that they have to our health and taxation but sugar escapes everything it seems to me like nobody pays much attention to sugar or it doesn't want to do anything about it uh, sugar is uh, causing many devastating diseases first of all it causes diabetes and obesity then causes all cardiovascular diseases including um, including um, heart diseases and also causes cancers so uh, <clears throat> we're gonna look at uh, all these causes and all these bad consequences uh, for our health in detail but first of all, let's see uh, where is sugar? Uh, how come that, that we eat so much sugar? How come that we ingest it as an enormous amount of this, this uh, substance? Well, <clears throat> sugar is everywhere. Uh, food industry knows that if they put sugar inside, in any product, product will taste good and people will eat it. So if you want to sell it, you better make, make, make it tasty. So this is the major reason why sugar has found its way literally everywhere. For example, sugar is in bread, bagels, croissants. Sugar is in all type of juices and soft drinks and fizzy drinks. Sugar is in milkshakes, yogurts, um, mayonnaise, peanut butter. Sugar is in ketchup. Sugar is in breakfast cereals and in many, many other products. To make it even worse, we add sugar to almost everything we eat. For example, uh, most of the dishes which you can buy, obviously, like uh, uh, ready-made meals, they're full of sugar. We like to put sugar in, in coffee, we like to put sugar in tea, we like to even top up our fruit with sugar. It's very common case that people put sugar on top of strawberries or, or cream which is sweetened. Uh, we obviously put sugar in our cereals, in our milk, put sugar in yogurt. We put sugar everywhere on top, on top of everything. So we simply inc keep increasing the amount of sugar in every day's diet. Now statistics say that in the United States, in average, every person consumes 150 pounds of sugar per day. This amounts to some 200 grams of sugar per day. It's a staggering amount. And we in UK are not far away from it. Obviously, uh, in constant increase in obesity is the best proof that we also ingest a lot of sugar. So let's see now what sugar does when we eat sugar. Sugar starts damaging our health as soon as it enters our mouth. Uh, sugar actually helps feeding the bacteria, acid producing bacteria, which sticks to our animal and forms plaque and simply starts eating through animal, causing tooth decay. Start with that. And obviously gum disease as well. So sugar starts attacking us as soon as it enters our body. Inside our digestive tract there is all kind of bacteria living there 
among them is yeast bacteria. Yeast, but yeast is very well known feeds on sugar. So as soon as you start eating sugar, you increase the risk of developing yeast infection, like for example, uh, candida. Uh, then, what sugar also does? Sugar is empty calorie. Yet, because it hasn't got anything else, it's, it's completely refined. It's just a simple empty calorie. And uh, in order to be digested, <clears throat> sugar needs lots of minerals and vitamins. Since it doesn't bring any, like for example fruit and vegetables, which are wholesome food, sugar needs them for digestion and sugar will take them from uh, our internal stores, from our tissues. <clears throat> so simply, what do sugar do? It will rub necessary vitamins and minerals for its own metabolism, which directly causes weakening of our immunity. Sugar interferes with pathways of vitamin C. <clears throat> we know that vitamin C is a crucial vitamin when it comes, for example, for uh, formation of T cells, the white blood cells. They need vitamin C in order to be effective in defense uh, against diseases, against infections. So, sugar directly interferes with vitamin C. Therefore, it competes uh, with the sensors on the cells and actually uh, disables vitamin C to get into the uh, immunity cells, into white blood cells and helps them um, <clears throat> fight efficiently. What sugar also does, it, incre it increases insulin production. So the hormonal response for sugar is, is simply devastating and this is the biggest problem actually. So by increasing insulin, insulin production, <coughs> Uh, sugar automatically decreases glucagon production and growth hormone production. So while insulin is storage hormone and glucagon and growth hormone are actually burning hormones, hormones that help body metabolize uh, body fat as energy, sugar makes you fat. <coughs> More sugar in the blood uh, because of dramatic increase of insulin and uh, more fat you will store. Increase in insulin doesn't only affect our look and our fat stores. Increase in insulin production also affects us in, in, in more serious uh, ways. For example, hyperproduction of insulin causes thickening of the arteries, forming the plaque on the arteries, increases hypertension, increases uh, overall cholesterol in the blood and especially LDL which is the bad cholesterol. Uh, Hyperproduction of insulin also increases uh, the level of triglycerides. And as you can see, through insulin, uh, through increased uh, production of insulin, sugar triggers the whole range of diseases. And this simply, it's devastating for our health. Hyperproduction of insulin also causes diabetes and obesity. So, if you look at it, sugar does everything possible to ruin our health. Through increase of insulin, triggers the whole chain of, of devastating negative health reactions um, in our body. Sugar is also very addictive. Sugar stimulates the same part of the brain which are responsible for addiction of uh, drugs, uh, nicotine and uh, other chemicals. So sugar being addictive actually uh, just forces you to eat more and more. And once you start eating sugar, you just can't stop. As you all know, once you have a biscuit, you will never stop with one or two. You will have to have the whole box. Sugar is addictive. So uh, what is the way out? How can we deal with this? <clears throat> so people say, oh, you should reduce your amount of sugar in the diet. No, because it's addictive. Reducing the amount of sugar in your diet is not going to help. You may reduce it for a certain amount of time, but very soon that will go back to your bad habits of eating a lot of sugar. The best way to deal with sugar is to completely eliminate sugar from your diet. And whenever you want to eat something sweet, simply eat the best uh, that nature has given us. You can eat fruit and you will soon discover a beautiful taste of, of different fruits and 
again revive your senses and your instincts for natural food. Food the fruit tastes amazing and is very sweet. Once you eliminate sugar, fruit will become really, really satisfying. So, not lowering the amount, reducing the amount of sugar in your diet. Completely eliminate sugar from your diet and uh, turn into a natural and healthy diet.